Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we give greetings to you from the DoorDash Revolution channel, where we share information on DoorDash, Grubhub, and various apps. In today's episode, we like to address the question on how to make $100 on Grubhub daily I was asked that question um, since you have been deactivated on the DoorDash platform what type of experience you having with the Grubhub app are you making any money on it what is your experience what is your perspective if you want to tell new and beginning drivers about the Grubhub app and the main thing is how can you make $100 on Grubhub daily let's go ahead and uh, jump into this information ladies and gentlemen to no further ado I will share seven common sense tips that should be common sense for new and beginning drivers number one we want to talk about decision making you got to make the right decision when you're doing Grubhub as a stream of income you got to know your market know what's going on in your market knowing when the busier times to come out and make money on the Grubhub app whether it's lunch and dinner knowing where your competition is in the market understanding that is very rare in some people markets you see a driver that mainly do Grubhub majority of drivers that do Grubhub ladies and gentlemen are multi apps so they more like part time Grubhub drivers, or they use the Grubhub app as a filler app, like I used to do. If you're going to do this with more of the aspect of this will be one of my main apps versus a filler app, maybe this is the video you need to be listening to. You got to create a plan, and that plan consists of setting goals. Those goals is monetary to where you want that to be realistic. Cause somebody else do a video saying they made $300 a day or $400 a day doing Grubhub. That might not be realistic for you. You want to start small and gradually move up. As the more orders that you do. The more areas that you go in to pick up and drop off deliveries. And now you have historical data to where you need to analyze and study where you're picking up these orders and where you're dropping them off. Analyzing the information that is on the Grubhub app. When you see that it's red, the hot spot, and where you see that it's orange, being able to understand the difference. You know it's red if you're nearby and you're not that far away. Within three mile radius or distance from it, you should be able to get an order. Okay, when you see one that is orange, you don't need to be chasing that hot spot if you're seven miles away. If you're five miles away. 
you know, if you three miles or less, it makes sense that you gravitate to that area of the hot spot. But if it's three miles or more, maybe you need to rethink that. Because it takes 10 minutes to go three miles. You know, the Navy came up with a nautical miles to where when you're traveling, you're traveling two minutes per mile in a moving vessel. We have to keep that into consideration. Your time and your distance. How fast are you going to be able to get there to get that order? Once you learn your market, you understand the geographical areas in your region of the seven points of restaurants that you can go to and beat Johnny to the spot versus being Johnny on the spot and you chasing hot spots. Targeting Grubhub restaurants what do you mean by this which restaurants Grubhub diners order from the most are the restaurants you want to target you'd be more successful knowing that information and gathering data on that information and back to number seven, beating Johnny to the spot. With this information, you can be already in transition to beating Johnny to the spot versus that I'm Johnny at the spot. Then the more experience you get, you will know how to be Johnny on the spot. Where as soon as that order drop hot, you right there because you're in the spot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we need to take a consideration of these seven steps to success in making $100 a day. Coming out at the busier times, peak times, lunch and dinner versus the breakfast in a lot of markets. Seasonal changes, different seasons of the year where people are craving for the flavor of certain recipes. You have to know exactly which ones they are and be able to identify which restaurants that you will be able to get more orders from due to the supply and demand of Grubhub Diners. I hope this will help beginners start being able to analyze by creating a plan that is realistic for them to make consistent money on a daily basis. Start out with a goal of hundred dollars a day. Then if you make surpass that, then you can increase that level due to your decision making and your market. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be coming out with more grub hub tutorials that we may be going to the learning hub, discussing some things there and updates that we want to share with you. You know, like for instance, don't you know that if you get a contract violation with Grubhub, it lasts 90 days, not a hundred deliveries. And that doing with your ratings, you have scheduled commitment on time to the merchant, off a commitment, the lowest rating determines your program level. Peace and take care, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in the next video as we embark this journey with Grubhub.
take it to the streets.